All right, guys, and we are back with another episode of Portugal, the Iberian Rivalry. This is episode 22. Um, very long for the first 196 turns, but we're grinding through. Uh, we're finally on our way to take up Rasong High. If you guys remember last time, we are finally doing some damage to him. Feels really good after all the years of pain he put us through. So, um, sorry I haven't been around to record in a little bit, a little while, but I'm finally back. I just had a super busy weekend. No time to play games, but I'm finally free again. I'm going to see if I can't put out some more videos. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, so, we're going to get started here. Uh, actually, while I think about the Warfront here, because it's been a little while since I was playing this, let's go ahead and move the rest of the units. So just a quick recap of the world. Um, so we just stole, uh, I think, yeah, we just stole Scientific Theory, so that's really important. We need to get those things going, if I recall. Yep, so we'll start here, get the public schools going. Um, as soon as we finish this, uh, this, our public school here will be a little faster, so that's not bad. Um, I think it was really expensive here, if I recall. Is that right? Yeah, super expensive here. Okay, so for seven forty nine, maybe we should buy it here then. I think we can get it quicker if we can buy it there. And then after this aqueduct, I think we're definitely it's time to go for university here. And I might hard bullet there because this isn't really a big enough city to matter yet. I need a little bit more pop before I can start running scientific specialists. And it's growing, all, it's growing as fast as it can without trade routes at the time, but. I'll get there eventually. All right. Um, looks like we're seeing some extra distance. I might regret this, but since Rome is distracted by the sudden, sudden uh, Ethiopian attack, if you guys remember last time, the Ethiopians have attacked Rome, and I'm not sure why this city doesn't have any damage. I guess they just bypassed it in favor of Nikea. Um, so he's been going after Rome. That distracted Rome actually from from uh, defending, from attacking Songhai's capital. So they are now sending their musketers back this way. We're kind of in a tight spot right now. If we can take Tombuktu quickly, it'll be much easier to defend Tombuktu because this will give us kind of like a territorial hold in here. We've got this nice river here. I can set up my guys back here and he won't be able to come up and get them because he'll have to cross this river. So if, this could, if we can take this down four or five turns before he really starts to rebuild, we'll be sitting in a really good position. I think we can actually take him all by ourselves. Um, that's the thought at least. So let's go ahead and start fixing these up. Um, because I see musketmen's and things coming, I feel like I need one of these workers to bait a little bit. Um, so we'll send one guy up to start working on these things, and the other guy will be baiter. Um, my philosophy for that is we're probably going to see Mondo Kali Haver pretty soon. They usually have enough damage to do more than half damage to these crossbows, and I might lose some logistic guys in one turn if I don't have... Um, people closer, and all my scouts are starting to really take damage from the garrison fire. They got a general, they got a crossbowman, they got... They, I think they just built a castle, because suddenly I'm doing a lot less damage to the city. Yeah, so just because Mondakali might be coming in this way, we're going to try to shift our troops, consolidate them down here, so it's a little bit easier to defend. If they have to come in and cross this road one at a time on this road, there'll be a lot less directions they can hit us, is kind of what I'm thinking. So yeah, let's do this, hit that. Shift here. Sit there. We want to be just out of range of this guy. Keep distracting him with that. Um, yeah, so we've got to finish off this guy. If this guy stays here, I think he'll definitely die. So we're going to have to let this musketman hit our crossbowman here. That's fine, because I plan to have a worker here so that he can't actually get too many attacks on the crossbowman is what I'm thinking. Uh, for now, we're going to move like this. Oh, I probably could have finished him off if I'd hit that one. Uh, let's hit the city instead. We want to keep doing enough damage that the city really doesn't start to recover. Is the thought here. So there's those guys, and then this is my last open train guy. Should I hit the musketman? Here's the question. So if I had um, set up this guy here, the musketman might have gone after him. But for now, we're going to have to do something else. here, Because I think he'll die otherwise. I think my crossbowman's honestly safe sitting here. I don't think he has anything else coming. It's hard to tell. This is a dangerous position. So if a Mondakula comes through here, hits that guy, and then he hits here, that could be interesting. How many movements I got here? One. I can start pillaging next turn, but not this turn. So actually, yeah, we need to get some pikemen protection here. Awesome. Okay, yeah, we can do, we can do this. So let's set up here. I've got my nice resistance to bombard. He can't actually get at me. 
So now the second attack is blocked and I can safely withdraw this gun. So I think we're good setting it up like that. I'm just being on the safe side. I don't want to lose my logistics guys that I've worked so hard on. So let's hit, um, do a little bit of damage to him. So sometimes if you hit them and they de the battle doesn't look super favorable to them, they'll just sit there healing, wasting their turn. So that's kind of the thought there. And then this guy, um, I want him just close enough that I can move him here to block people if need be. I'd rather sacrifice this one than anyone else because he's a mixed unit. So let's set up there. Um, actually, let's stay out of range of the Bombard. I'd rather get, have my ship get hit because it's not much use in this battle. There we go. Okay. So I think that's well set up. Uh, is there anything else we want to research agreements with? So, Byzantium. But actually, I think at this point, with the way, or the way our culture is so slow, it'd be better to spend our money next turn on buying a cultural friend. Um, I think they give a good hefty 15 culture a turn, so I'd really like to start getting them. There's two that I found. One's hostile. The other one's not there, so I'll, I'll try to get friends with that non-hostile cultural guy. Get some policies coming through a little quicker, because we're definitely not going to win the world games and with an empire this tiny, with all these monsters out here. <laughs> all right. Carrying on. Oh, man. Haley Selassie <laughs> is pillaging Roman trade routes to... They move like a... Yeah, yeah, they moved to a little trireme. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. We're going to lose money off that. Okay. Yeah, cool. Good for you. Who's our scientist? Once we get that last academy up and the public school? Hmm. Finally going to have some somewhat, somewhat halfway decent science. So we learned last time that we're a little... We're slightly above average on science because Rome, which is supposedly a pretty good player, entered the industrial at the exact same time as us. So we're doing not too bad. Made a dose? Thought Guys, we were already friends, but if not, sure. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Oh, whoa. Uh, six left their capital. And Gustavus Adavis has entered the industrial area. He's actually pretty... Hmm. He must be friends with someone that he hates. Maybe Russia? It's really only Russia. A lot of people hate him, though, so whatever. He probably won't be around for that much longer to carry weight in the world, if he carries anything at all. All right, yeah, so everyone went off that pikeman that we moved in. There's a lot of attacks on that pikeman. Good thing. I love this guy that has the cover, though. Uh, we should get another layer of cover on him, if if we can. Because he's, he's surviving real well. His bait there. Alright, so it looks like uh, that stupid Songhai Caravel found another trade route to pillage. <laughs> you know, he he has to have open borders with America. That's the only place he can be, is like back here healing or something. I'm going to find him. Yep, there you are. Mobilize all the troops. Sick and tired of this thing. All right, so. We'll kill it. Uh, so he's probably going to flee back into his American land. Let's go ahead and just buy open borders with America. Um, it would be nice to get a few levels of influence on them anyway. It probably won't do much good, to be honest. Um, yeah, it probably won't do hardly any good. Is the following trade of interest to you? All right, there we go. Uh, there should be someone else to mobilize. Where are you at? There you at. Awesome. Let's head back up this way. And this guy setting up. Awesome. Cool. Uh, we just got up in borders with this guy, so we're headed for the Asian city-states. Uh, we just... No, losing that trigger didn't give us... Made us lose out on enough money to buy this cultural city-state, I think. Alright, so here's the two culture guys. Neutral culture. This is the guy we want. Is a quest we can't do. What about the other one? These are the kind of the two most important ones to me right now. No quests. All right, so we need to buy out the non-hostile one. Um, we'd be deca decay by one a turn, I guess. We can go ahead and pledge to protect them, I guess. Both of them will at least sit on five. Save ourselves a little bit of time there. Okay, cool. So we're set up there. Um. Oh, awesome. Let's get range. Love it. I like having range on my frigates. Maybe I'll actually be able to use them a little bit. Alright, so let's pillage in here. 
get some of that health back. So if we don't kill this guy, he'll probably hit the knight, but that's fine, I think. So this guy needs to retreat now. Took some good danger off that without damaging our, or this guy, so that's, that's good stuff there. All right, so we probably need to move, replace these two, I'm thinking. Switch them out. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so what's the best way to do this? Hmm. Hard to tell. This guy probably just needs to sit for a bit. I know that much. Alright, uh... Right, this guy needed some health, so I guess he was headed this way. Yeah, seems like what he would do be doing. Alright, cool. So let's hit the open city with that guy. Weaken the defenses a little bit. These guys are rough anyway, so let's hit the city a couple more times. I don't... Unless he's, like, hiding them right there. He shouldn't be able to get two attacks on a crossbow. It's hard to tell what he'll do. But I've got my worker bait to the rescue next turn. Maybe I'll have that. Ah, what are you doing? Not, this guy always gets in my way. Hmm. Two, three. Right, so let's start healing up here. I thought I'd have more people in range than that. Um, I think we need to hit him. Hmm, we want to mess that up. I think I needed to kill off this musket in this turn. Well, we might still. Yeah, I got lucky. Cool. Okay, so that, now that Mondakalu has got to choose something to attack. If he attacks the pikeman, he's he's just got to take a lot of damage because i got a bonus against him. And then, as long as another one doesn't come out immediately, that guy should survive. They might, though. Who knows? Sungvai might be pump cranking him out now. I was hoping we'd take him down his only resource here, but it doesn't look like it. Aztecs lost their cap. Yeah, I said all this. Cool. Okay. So this guy's coming down to help, though. Get a little bit more support. Um, probably best to get on the road. We could be here by next time. Yeah, I think feel like we're going to need that worker. Things are looking a little risky. Okay, cool. So we're trying to get over here. Let's go ahead and land, at least to get a little closer. Yeah, so that would work. Either of these spots could work for the for Victoria. All right, next turn. Man, Ethiopia is just plundering away at all those Roman trade routes. Stupid little trireme. It's just ruining my gold income. All right. People have to hear it. Oh, <laughs> he's asking for war against Pashidi. Man, you just took down down a, a... What's it called? The Aztecs. Calm down, buddy. Oh, now you want to get that back. Interesting. I guess he was just in a denunciation spree. Oh, here we go. Okay. Lost to Pikeman. That means... Let's see. What all happened to him? Uh... He shouldn't have died from just three attacks and one Monoculi attack. 41, 25, 20. I was full health. That doesn't add up to a hundred. How does that happen? Huh. Weird. Okay, so the text says that that I got ninety-five damage, and yet I'm still dead somehow. Anyway, that's the expendable guy. So I guess he was worth protecting my crossbowman. Man, they're really making this hard. I need to take the city down. All right, so I need to kill at least one Mondakula because I just noticed that there is multiple ones around. So that's good. Um, unfortunately, the uh, damaged one disappeared. That that was my expendable pipe, and I'm just a little worried that um, I can't get my worker in time to protect these guys. If there's two Mondakula, they might be able to finish off one of my logistics guys is the issue here. Um, because of that Russian scout, I couldn't get my worker 
close enough. Like, I would have been able to get in here. Right here. This turn. Okay, so we'll get there next turn, though. Alright, so we definitely need to finish off this. Um, I guess we'll use our general for scouts this time. Yeah, I guess it's worth finishing off the monocular. That means we're going to have to not tech the city for a bit, but I can't lose my crossbows. Let's see, this guy can do a lot more damage to the Mondak Monocular than he can the city, so let's do that. Alright, let's give that guy another turn of health and then he should be okay. Oh, what? Oh, come on. Did you really heal? Well, he can't hit anything as long as I finish pillaging and get my knight back out of here, so it'll be, it'll be cool. Alright, we'll sit up here. Sounds good. This guy will heal here. And we're good. Cool. Got our last academy going. Let's make sure that's being worked. It should be. I think I'm working at every spot there. So. Doesn't like to stay on one spot. Alright. Madrid's looking good. Getting its thing quickly. So is this. And we're working all the stuff. So we're up to 280. Very nice. Looking great. Okay, so... This shitty should be growing along. Once it grows, we'll finally be able to work the Musician's Guild spot, and looks like we can buy friendship with um, that cultural city-state. Although each turn we wait now, the more turns we'll actually have that, because we're going to grow up to five now that we've pledged protection. Hmm. Right? Is that how that works? Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to be short money for a little bit. Let's give it a couple more turns to get this passive influence. Yeah, then, we'll, then we will make turns for 10, which is a little better. That'll give us time to repair our gold, get those trade routes back up. Um, right. Speaking of which, I need to queue one up. Make sure I remember that. Seaport. Not too good. I don't have any of those sea resources that they they speak of. Just All right, so let's just finish off this Songhai Caravel. This is just this one is just terrorizing everything. Can we go to here? So we'll have to go to there. I think that's a valid tile, so we should be good now. Alright, almost. Okay, so. Yep, yeah, let's hit that. Bam, bam. That's a bad turn. Um, it seems to me like, I don't know, this, seems, this might just be a myth, but it seems to me like I hit the city, I hit the city, so that last Montecule is pretty damaged, he, so he fled off. He's probably not at risk this turn until he heals one or two turns. Because he hit a pikeman, which means he probably lost a lot of health. Uh, it seems to me like the first couple attacks on the city are pretty weak, and then it's like all my crossbow gentlemen do more damage. So I don't know if that's true, but I've seen that happen several times with this city in particular. So that's kind of like, that's a little weird. I don't know what's going on there. Um, all right, so let's see if we can't find this. Where are you at? There you are. I knew it. See, he's a little coward. He hides in... He was hiding in America's land the entire time. Okay. They seem to not like to attack this guy. I'm not sure why, but i got to stay in the middle ground, I think. Okay. Uh, I think we got that guy with the nows that we have. So let's send that, that guy up to explore Ireland area. We don't have anyone up there. All right, cool. And on to the next turn. All right, here's Songhai's turn. Let's see what he does. It passed without any raids. Okay, so we're going to do a ton of damage to the city this time. That's awesome. I knew he would... We probably had broken his charge there with killing both of the musket men and that Monokulu. The other one's damaged. If we can take the city, like... In the next one or two turns, Monokulu suck at retaking cities, so he shouldn't, he really shouldn't, like, he should be producing more musket, but it, I haven't seen him, so maybe we'll get lucky. We'll see. All right, we are back. So, as usual, Lisbon is growing, Madrid is starving, nothing new there. Doing the best we can. All right, cool. So, let's see what tiles it started to work here. Extra growth. Nope. That's not gonna actually, that doesn't actually give us anything extra at all, so let's go straight for workshop, get some extra turns there. This guy finally stopped and finished, so that's good. Got some healing in the friendly territory. Let's start exploring Australia, and somewhere around Australia, I'm sure we'll find almost the farthest point we can be from our empire. And so we'll spend that trade mission for some quick gold. Um, 
this guy is heading down now. Let's make sure we get a shot or two on the, on cities or units when we can with that. Let's see. Get some good sight there. Okay, cool. So this is the turn that we're going to be able to get a lot done. I'm going to see if we can't bait out, like, maybe this crossbowman with this guy. We'll see. Um, awesome. Okay, so that... He fled entirely. I guess he went back to Gal. Well, now's the time. Let's just hit the city a bunch. Do as much damage as we can. Yes, he's 16. 12, 13. It's like the second shot's always stronger. What the heck? Why did the rough guy do more damage that time? It's, it's so weird. I don't understand this system. Awesome. That put him really low. Good work. So this knight's here to run in and take the city. Uh, let's just keep skipping here. Probably the best thing to do. Okay, so he moved in range to be able to finish off my pike. That's... Wish I'd noticed that. Um... Because I might have been able to... Ah, no! Are you kidding me? He's going to insta-heal again. Ah, every time. I'm telling you. It's so frustrating. Okay, so that's just one and one. That's not enough to kill me. But there's probably a Mondacooler or something. So let's give him a little bit of more health before we move in. Yeah, we can't afford to sit here. I wish I'd uh, shot back, but uh, oh well. So we'll just have to keep healing up here. Pick a new position, I guess. Awesome, we got another cotton. Uh, let's let's see who we can uh, sell that to. So there's lots of people here. What do we, what do our cities want? Whales, whales, cloves, and ivory, like usual. We're gonna get ivory once we take the city. Cloves has never been an option, but whales maybe. Someone has whales. We can check. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. But there's a couple of uniques we can get. Um, I think I saw one at least. One for one? Yeah, here we go. Pasha Sudi has stuff. Um, the humor don't be dead. Cool. Good does. Hmm. Okay. So it says he has one, but there's actually lots he's willing to trade. Uh, furs, I haven't seen anything I'm going to get quickly for that. So let's go ahead and lock down Soon that. Cool. Our happiness is really solid. And this has several uniques, too. One, two... Th wow, three uniques. This city's going to be great. It's hardly going to hit me at all. Sweet. Um, okay. Cool. We'll finish up that Galleus next time. Let's find this little... This little terror. Once and for all. And finish him off. Where are you? There you are. Two, three. Ha. Ha. Can't quite get him, but we should be able to corner him here, right? We'd have to move past us. Yeah, let's sit here. Okay, cool. Sweet. Okay, <laughs> we're finally gonna kill that caribou that caused us so much pain. <laughs> Excited. All right, let's check out um, this area up here. Haven't been up here to see Iceland or Britain or anything yet, so it'd be good to get, have some sight on that, Victoria. Um, this should have a lugs, right? Yeah, dies. That's why I wasn't going to trade for dies, because I'm about to get it. Sweet. Next turn. Oh, cool. Gasper promoted. <laughs> Guess Rome failed to steal there. Sweet. Okay, so once he's up to three, we can start double stealing from the tech leaders. That'll be really nice. Um, I don't really want to take off America, but there's some other guys like China that might be good stealing partners. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to try to figure that out. Russia, for now, is definitely the best. Getting us techs every 18 turns. That's about. That looks like it's about the, be the best we can hope for, for, unfortunately. But that's not too bad still. I love that we can start using these workers for sight. Maybe we'll even bait off his Harrison or something. That'd be great. All right, so it looks like Asher Bonapal has also entered the industrial area. Maybe we're not that special then, because those guys aren't very strong, are they? They just got a couple of cities, from what I, I know. Those are pretty good. Oh, Songhai's coming. Oh, gosh. He wants peace bad. Uh, let's check how many cities he has now, but we're definitely not going to make peace. Oh, yeah, we did this last time. Maybe if we take Tumbuk to his capital, then he'll trade us Tandivi, and we'd leave him with just Jenny. That sounds like a good deal to me. Let's see what he does. Let's see if I can get over here. Ha! He fell for it. Okay. Come all the Mondelukus, though. Uh, I think we're going to have to waste a turn taking those down, because 
two of those attacking one of our crossbowmen's, we could easily lose a logistics guy. They're pretty strong. They got triple, I think, open train upgrades, if I recall. He always puts triple on them, which is a smart move. He's got some sort of wonder in his capital that gives him extra, I think. All right, we are back. Um, people we all like to visit. Yeah, that doesn't mean much because there's so many weak people. Doesn't look like anyone's close realized. to it, from what I see. All right, so our spy, we killed a Spanish spy. Got an upgrade. Ooh, we actually have coal. We have six coal. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. Okay, so we immediately have six coal. That's great. Okay. Was not expecting it to be that easy. Well, let's go straight for factories then. Um, I guess we'll have to decide on our ideology quicker than I thought. Go straight for factories next. That'd be good. Um, I guess after bank factory here too, right? Oh, that's so bad. It's because we're, like, growing right now, I guess. Hmm. How much is it? 594? Might be worth it to buy. Actually, that's how much more we need, isn't it? That's bad. Uh, we'll, we'll try to figure that out later, but it really needs a factory because it's got terrible production. Okay. Keep exploring on the coast. We've got... Ah, okay. Another cover. Good deal. All right. Um... Hmm. Can't quite get there yet. So one, two, three, and then back out. Can't quite get our worker back, but it's probably just going to sit in the city, to be honest. Maybe we should have set our worker here. Probably would have been better. <laughs> um, where'd you go? There'd you go. Get out of here. Okay, cool. Finish that up. Let's get another trade on luxuries. Uh, finish off these Montecalu. This guy came in just in time to do some damage. Let's hit that. Extra 20. Helpful. Ooh, this guy just got logistics. We're really going to do some damage now. Bam, bam. Finish him off. Yeah, this guy don't stand a ta chance. Okay, so I guess we needed all of our all of our hours just to take down the Montecalu. That's that's kind of surprising. We have a lot of logistics guys. How many attacks is that? Anyway. So we could hit it and then get back out. I think this guy is strong enough to take that unless he has like a muskman. Let's just see what he has. So that just that's just two attacks, I think. I think we finished off his main force. Okay, cool. We need to capture that worker. This terrain's a little too much. We'll see. Okay, so... See so if we can't bait that garrison. That guy should survive, from what I know of his defenses. 20 is pretty good. That's better than our pike. So, all right, cool. I think we just did the best possible move there. Uh, yep, looks good. All right, uh, this guy's headed up here. Just about to get our second Fatoria started. Uh, this guy's checking out Iceland and the like, I think. Yeah, thanks. just exploring the world. Um, and then afterwards, I don't know that I'll explore the full world, because it it's kind of a little... We need we need those guys back home to protect as well. But let's go ahead and get them out there, spend their trade missions at least. Where did you go this time? So he was right here. He had to have wasted time to get out of here. But where did he go? Hmm. Okay. There you are. Die. Die. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can find more American cities to trade with. There's Atlanta. Cool. Okay. Choosing research. Um, we need to think about what we're stealing as well. Let's just take a quick gander. 14, view. Oh, it dropped from 18 to 14. Not bad. So he's up. He's 127. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, this is the place to stay. Let's go ahead and get another level here. Uh, might be worth it to rig and get those cultural cities out soon. How are we how are we looking on influence? Once we get up to five, we'll, let's go ahead and try to buy both of them out. I think we, we need that culture. Actually, our gold is probably low enough. We should just focus on the one that is not hostile. Uh, I really like both though. Up to three, so two turns we'll be able to do that. Science. There's a chance we might actually be able to get that. 
because we could easily switch to this line. And that honestly, we should do. Although archaeologists, I bet there's a ton of antiquity sites around us. Uh, America might get them if we don't. Uh, that that's probably a better stealing tech. Let's see. I have a ton of mines and stuff. Let's let's go this route. I think that's better. Finally get gunpowder. Then we can have the chance at least to stealing the lower part of the tree as well. Golden agent. That's what we got. So much less gold. I should want to fall. Yeah. Cool. All right. Looks good. Next turn. Muy bien. All right. I fell for you. Oh yeah. Still. Still a lot of bright red, red stuff. Great general lasts forever. That was ages ago. She's so bright, bright red on like that, like she's remembering it like yesterday. Oh, okay, so another person hates me. Another person that doesn't like Russia, probably, right? It's probably those research agreements or something. I. Like, I've been friends with Russia for ages, but I don't know. Something, stuff's changing in the world. Uh, there's probably going to be some big wars and stuff soon, I'm sure. All right, so if all goes well, I think Tumbuk 2 is definitely ours this turn. I don't see any way he can hold on to it. We just slaughtered all the Mondokulis, so there's. I don't think he can take it back. I think we got this. Perfect time. Right, uh, zip. Yeah, just two cities. How is he already in the industrial? He must just be really good at stealing or something. Uh, this is an interesting game with like one civs, one city civs, two city civs. Honestly, we were a three city civ, which is kind of the average until just recently. Could have had five if we kept this city, but honestly, that, that city sucks. Um, we're going to put one here, actually, after our trade route. We're going to produce a settler. I think, I think this is a good spot. Good enough to grow, at least. Ooh, that was close. 28, 25. Definitely had three quarters. Oh, yeah, yeah, that adds up. Okay, so that's about what I expected, is that he would survive with just a tiny bit of health. And then this worker would pre prevent people from coming in and taking it. Sweet, so that worked out well. It was possible Mondakuli could have come through, but honestly, I don't know. It seemed worth it to... You gotta take some risks to take a big city down like this, so I think we're good. Alright, so now we should be able to swoop that city with the knight. Alright, so cool. Got our second our next great writer. Um I haven't been saving them for the great games, because I don't expect there's any way we could win the great games. Um we could burn it for four eleven now. That would get us just ten turn yeah, let's just get the great work. Honestly, I think the extra influence at this point. You may be an undigested bit of. That might help us out with a lot of unhappiness problems later. So, yeah, we're already a bit better on influence than we were even on the Shoshone empires, which is, I think that's what you gotta, you gotta do a little bit more of that. Hey, buddy. Looks like people have been taking pot shots at him. All right, uh, so this is our frigate. Let's definitely send him back. Yeah, definitely send him back. Okay, so. Hmm. I'm thinking about this. Which should we do first? The uh, cargo ship or the... Oh, we're about... We're going to grow in five. So definitely cargo ship, then settler, then factory. I think that's what we'll do there. Sweet. Okay. You're making it hard to get in here, aren't you? All right. Oh, there's a Brazilian city. <laughs> I wonder how he's doing so well in science. He's just got his one jungle capital. Which, to be fair, it's not bad with all these Brazil woods. It's not bad at all. Alright, so. This guy's doing good. We could charge against wounded. Or we could get the triple upgrade. Hmm. There's a been a lot of wounded units. That honestly might be really good for us. But it'll be longer until we get blitz. Let's get wounded. I haven't I haven't played a lot with that upgrade. Like maybe it sucks, but I think it's good. We'll see. Uh guess we can step in there. Hit the city. Yeah, that extra pipe and the guy that we brought down definitely helped a little bit. It seemed like we were gonna have some problems, so. Alright, 
cool. So this guy, we can save him to move up and then fire over the city, so that'll be good. I think. Actually, we might need a little bit more. Hard to tell if we'll take the city there. Just to be on the safe side, let's hit, hit it one more time, then take the city. Boom! Awesome. Feels good. Yeah, he totally fled. We got this. What did we capture? Not bad at all. I was hoping there'd be wonders in here, but I guess too much to hope for, right? At least the library. Hey, not too bad. Okay, cool. Uh, let's pop up that thing. Wait for that resistance to end. Then that'll be a real good part of our empire. Honestly, defending the line here should be pretty easy. Like, like I said, we can set up here. He can only really move in like this, which means we've got like almost automatic sight on him, which is pretty good. Can we get the city yet? Not quite. But we can take a pot shot at this guy. And then set up behind the city. How do we do that? Don't, didn't we have a worker? Guess not. Here's our worker. Um, let's fix the ivory. I think that's a growth boost somewhere, right? Somewhere? Madrid? <laughs> Does it matter? Uh, I'd love to grow Madrid a little bit more, but if that's all we're going to get for it, let's fix the horses, actually. Uh, having four horses, we'll finally be able to upgrade our extra pikemen here. Yeah, that'd be good. So we're down to just two pikemen, it looks like now. Uh, actually, no, no, three if you count this guy. So, which I will. Alright, so we definitely... be nice to get another worker. I'm sure we'll get one when we take the capital. Wait, hold up. What if we get 9 pop? Wasn't this at 19? We cheated. Did we get any, uh... Oh, we, we should check to see if this has works to transfer out. Real quick. Nope. So either we got unlucky and destroyed them all, or he didn't have any. So he probably just, being a warmonger, didn't focus on it at all. Ah, well. Okay. So move up here. Good. Awesome. Okay, so stuff is starting to really improve here. Um, yeah. Look, got that guy get a little bit more help. Let's send this guy down and around. Get him a little closer to the city here. Yeah, good. set up there. Okay, cool. Uh, one of these spots should have been up. I guess we'll be waiting a little bit. Okay. Sweet. Um, and then we'll move in like this. I think we're in a good position. Uh, now we can drive towards Gal. Let's keep the pressure on. Awesome. And that's about a day's worth. Uh, so I'm going to call that a day. See you guys again next time, and we'll keep going after him. Um, let's see if we can't turn this game around. Stuff is really starting to look good. See ya.